heaps of stuff. We show people how to read URLs. This stuff isn't actually difficult, right? We, we take them through about five specific examples and build it up. Um, I'll just show you guys one example, but this is the way most people will get tricked and this is what we build up to when we train. Here's a link, right? We want to go to mybanking.com. So what are we going to do? We're going to hover on that and that's where it's going, okay? So that was the hover URL. And then I, we show people how to read this stuff, right? And just quickly for you guys, ignore the stuff at the beginning, right? Ignore HTTPS, blah, blah, blah. And I will just say quickly, the reason this works is pe because people read left to right, right? So they're going to read left to right and see www.mybanking.com and think we're all good, right? So don't do that. Ignore the bit at the start. Go and find the first slash. If there's no slash, you go to the end, right? So here we've found a slash, great. This is where we're working from. Now you look to the left of the slash and you're looking for this domain extension. Now, as I said before, we, we build up to this. So this is a bit brief, but in this one here, we've got dot .info, that's one part in the domain extension. It could be .com.au, that's two parts in the domain extension. The simple rule is, if there's one part to the domain extension, go left two dots. If there's two parts in that domain extension, like .com.au, go left three dots. So here we've got .info, one part of the domain extension, go left two dots. Cool. So while this thing reading left to right goes to mybanking.com, when you apply the rules, it's going to log in now .info. Um, that, that's got nothing to do with mybanking.com. This is really easy to do for a scammer because they register login now.info, they slap some folders on their, in their website and in, in, the, in the files and folders, like that's what websites are, files and folders and database, and they just run a, a website out of this my banking thing and you can't stop that. But this is massive. This is where we find we teach people and you just see the light bulb moments go off in their eyes around the room that's going, and they're kind of freaking out because they're going, holy shit, where have we been clicking all these years? It's quite confronting to a lot of people, that stuff. So, um, Carl, is it that, that's what you're talking about, right? A hundred percent. hundred percent. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a big deal. Look, um, related to that as well, shorten URLs. Um, another way to trick people, you know, these bitlies and things. Um, you know, you can turn a long link into a short link right um but when you hover on that thing it doesn't tell you where it's going it just gives you exact same information um so you know a lot of these um links that were, were sent to these short urls and people just well even if you are hovering on them you don't get any information so um what we always say is just um expand them out um i personally use check short url.com you plug it in up the top here uh, we've been a little lazy plug it in up the top you click expand, it tells you the long URL, then you can read it and then you can make a decision whether 